This video is a short introduction to the Yamaha CR400 stereo receiver. I recently repaired this unit. Um, so I'm going to start out with start out by talking about the front um, panel. Um, of course, you have your power switch here, and you got your phones for your headphones. This here is your uh, speaker select switch. For example, if you got your speakers hook up to the A terminals the back, and you got this in the A position, that's going to activate the uh, A speakers. It has a B position here, and you can activate both A and B if you have four speakers. Here you have a mic input. You can uh, put in a mic, attach a mic here for recording. Here you got your mic level control. And here is your, this thing here, this is for the tuner, that's a signal strength meter. And that shows you basically the strength of the the AM or FM station being received. And of course your best reception is when the needle here is the furthest to the right. And this little thing, a little meter next to it here, that's a tuning meter. And that shows you if it's tuned correctly. And the for the best reception, this needle has to be in the should be in the middle. Let me see if I can zoom up there a little bit more. There's a, a middle mark. What else do we have here? Um, okay, you got your um, bass controls. That's for your low frequencies. You got your high. Uh, your treble control it's for your high frequencies and of course you always turn these uh, clockwise increase and you always turn counterclockwise to decrease of course there you can have you see here you got your uh, position markers here so you know for example if it's in the middle then of course you're in a uh, this is kind of neutral you can have uh, you're going to be moving between, you're going to be right in between the two extremes, which is uh, the treble control really turned down or all the way up. You're going to be right in the middle. And going over to the right here, this thing here is the loudness control. And this is um, basically at low volume controls it makes it uh, sound a little bit so uh, and it sound louder yeah that's exactly what it does of course this here is your um, stereo mono switch you can switch of course between stereo mono here you got your I forgot this one here this is the the volume control and that one of course to, of course you turn it to the right to increase the volume here you've got your uh, function selector this one here has got aux you can hook up a CD player phono for turntable then FM muting that is um, muting so when you go ahead and adjust you're looking for a station so there's no noise in between it's going to be quiet to you uh, reach a station then you got your regular FM and then you got your AM of course here's your tuning tuning knob um, of course that's a power LED and uh, that shows you if you're getting FM stereo reception as far as the inside here is concerned of course this is your tuning board um, then right down here at your uh, preamp board and here you get your power transformer and right here this is a combination um, power supply and your main amplifier board your power output transistors are back there 
I think this thing has a total of um, one, two, three, four. I think it has a total of um, six fuses in here. Um, as far as the power transistors are concerned, you can see them down there. Those are the, uh, I think those are the uh, uh, TO220 uh, type transistors. So they're not going to handle that much power. I Overall, I like the receiver. I think it's um, pretty, uh, I mean, it's a pretty simple unit. Mm. And the, as far as, the, for example, the FM reception, when I hooked up a dipole antenna, um, it, it, reception was really good, and um, I overall I like the um, I like the sound. I like the sound when I uh, listen to music to it. And as far as problems are concerned, probably you have to if you get one of these, you probably got to replace the lamps. And looks like another problem might be the uh, off and on switch. It might probably be a weak point. Overall I'd say it's uh, pretty easy to work on. The uh, schematic is readily available. Um, you can get that off the internet. And as far as the back is concerned, of course it's got your standard uh, behind the receiver. I'm not going to turn it around now. It has your standard uh, speaker hookup, speaker terminals and uh, your antenna terminals so basically nothing unusual about that there's really not much more to talk about well this came with a, uh, a wood cover I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover on now here's how the unit looks with the wood case on it's not this is not press wood um, I think I did forget to mention one switch here and this one here this is the uh, source monitor switch when you have it in a source position you're going to hear whatever your um, your function switch is uh, turned to and the monitor position as far as I remember if you have a tape deck hooked up you can listen to the tape deck but uh, don't quote me on that.